title of this space is People Are Fucking Unhinged. And people have always been unhinged, but the difference is you used to be able to shame their ass. You honestly used to be able to shame their ass. Can't shame people anymore. And this goes back to what a billionaire once told me. He's like, Gary, you know why the internet's so sick? And I'm like, go ahead, tell me, preach. And he's like, the reason the internet is so sick is, say you're some clown who has a specific type of fetish. And you're embarrassed of your fetish. But then you find out other people have your fetish too. And now you're not so embarrassed because you can bond with other people around that particular fetish you have. This is what the internet has done. It has allowed these freaks to organize. And because they organize and they start being in an echo chamber, they start thinking it's normal and then they don't get shamed by it anymore. Being a whore right now is normal. As a matter of fact, it's the virgins who are probably getting shamed now. As sick as that sounds. That's why my wife has no girlfriends. Because you women today are whores. Not everyone. Remember, if you're getting offended, I must be heading home. If you're not offended as a woman, obviously I'm not talking to you. Notice how that works? <laughs> People keep forgetting that little bit right there, man. What are you getting offended for? I just keep it real. So you can't even offend or shame these whores anymore. And before, if you were a whore, you get shamed. And if you were a single mother, you get shamed. And you know what? Now people are thinking, Gary, that's that's fucked up. Why would you want to shame a single mother? Do you know how hard it is to be a single mother? Yeah, you know what? I personally don't know because I was privileged. I want to say that again. I was privileged enough to have a mom and a dad. So in that way... I'm privileged, not because I'm white or any of the type of bullshit you guys would fucking think up of. The reason I'm privileged is because I have mommy and daddy, and they didn't always get along, but they got along enough to make something out of their fucking families, and I could have the opportunity to do the same thing with their grandkids, or would-be grandkids. That That's what it comes down to. That's what it's all about. But you can't shame these degenerates anymore. And that is a big, big issue. That's that's one of the things why people of low IQ, they, they need to be in religion. That because people of low IQ, they need something to fear. Because they can't shame these people they need something to fear so they can help themselves in check. And that is the major thing. And you know what? Women used to be a lot more religious than men. This is true. Women used to be very, very religious, even though women in some cases were second class citizens. They were always much more religious church kept them in check nowadays these women are not in check anymore and what is changed they are now whores that's what changed so now that we have don't have these women going into these religious institutions now they turn into whores which basically breaks down the family nuclear family structure and this is where you have the issues again you're not paying attention are you well you're paying attention to me using certain language and you're more offended at that language than you are kids growing up without a father really you're more offended at the way I say things and my tone than the fact that 85% of rapists are raised by single mothers. So who's the fucked up one here?
Me or you? We don't play games in this space. I don't kiss ass in this space. You understand? Going back, you know, you, you can't like yell and scream all the time. You can only do it like at certain points to emphasize because it loses the effect. You know, like a fucking coach. If he screams, and he, you know, all the time, he, he, the players don't respond. But if he does it every once in a while, you know, it kind of works. So, you know, just bear with me. Anyways, the, what I was basically saying is this. I don't need re religion. I don't need that stuff because I know not to cheat on my wife without the Bible, not to kill and steal without Quran. I don't need that stuff. But some people do. Some people need that stuff to keep them in check. And if that's the case, then so be it. Then so be it. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm sick and tired of you Christians. And, and again, if you're being offended, I will apologize to you Christians. Some of you, if you're being offended, I don't apologize too much. I'm not going to lump everyone in. But I'm just looking at the differences in society and in Muslim cultures and Christian cultures. And I got to tell you, it's becoming very evident and very clear what's going on. See, in Muslim cultures, we don't have LGBT parades. You understand? In Christian countries, you do. So in Christian countries, you allow these homosexuals to target your kids. That's essentially what gay pride parade is. They're targeting your kids. They can't reproduce. Only way they survive is they basically brainwash your kids. In Muslim countries, and again, you can say whatever you want about Aisha being nine and all this other stuff. I get it. You can say all those arguments. This is nothing I haven't heard or anyone else hasn't heard. But let's take out the historic precedences, which I don't even believe in the first place. Let's stick to reality. Do we have LGBT parades in Islamic countries, Iran, Saudi Arabia? Do we? Answer is no. Do women know their role in Muslim nations? They do. I'm not talking about all. Or obviously, there's whores in Islamic countries. But guess what? For every one whore we'll find in Islamic country, we might find a fucking 200 in the West. That's why I married a Muslim woman who was a virgin. And I understand that might be a foreign concept to a lot of people listening, especially a lot of the guys. Because you, you fucking take whatever you can get, a lot of you guys out there. You know, talk about fucking going for the longest hanging fruit. That's what you look for in your women. Me, I'm a little different, but you know, we're not we're not the same. We're not the same. But in Islamic nations, you don't have women who are promiscuous. Yet in these type of cultures, you do. What would you like me to tell you? Am I lying? Am I? In Muslim nations, I wouldn't have some fucking whore running for president and watching ads on TV say, vote for me. You think a Kamala Harris, who basically got famous through a talk show host in the 1990s called Montel Williams, is presidential material? You think Kamala Harris, who was sucking Willie Brown's dick to get in government, who was the mayor of San Francisco about 25 years ago, you think that's an adequate way to get in office? Are you out of your fucking mind? That's the thing. In a Muslim nation, we would not have a woman who's a fucking whore running for president. We do here. So I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be sorry. And I'm not advocating for Islam at all. I, what I'm doing is I'm comparing Trump to Camilla Harris. Okay. I can have a spaces for five hours 
talking about what's wrong with Donald Trump. Same I do for Islam. But you know what? I can have a fucking space for fucking 50 fucking hours about what's wrong with Camilla Harris. And the same thing I can do for Christianity. Let me, let me tell you one of the main differences I've seen personally between Christianity and Islam. In Islam, I see people serving their Lord, Allah. Okay? I see, again, I don't agree with this praying. I don't agree with any of that stuff. Okay? But I'm just telling you what I see with my own eyes. I have not had Muslims betray me. Again, you can uh, you can tell me the Palestinians did this and that. I haven't had Muslims betray me. Okay? I had plenty of Christians do that. Okay, besides the point. Muslims always tell me they serve God. Yet when I talk to some Christians, they always tell me they're the chosen one. Excuse me? I have talked to at least a hundred to about 80 Christians. A lot of them are haters who have told me in the past fucking, what, 18 months? They're not only followers of Christ, but they're God's chosen one. And God specifically talks to them and they're here for a fucking mission and Basically, they think they're the second coming of Jesus. I have yet to witness this behavior in Islam where someone tells me, I'm Allah's chosen one. I'm going to do this, this, and this. I haven't heard that shit. In Christianity, though, they all have this complex, not all, a lot have this complex that God specifically had posted them with some kind of mission and they're that in porn because that's what it all comes down to. It all comes about them, how important they are. And they will fucking justify that lie any fucking way possible. It's sick. It really is. I recently heard someone say, I got my knowledge from demons. And again, a, a, a typical Christian in 2024. And because demons stole this knowledge from God, it's okay to steal it from me. Are you out your fucking mind? I was in a room by myself for fucking three, four years studying this stuff. Right after 9-11. I didn't have anyone to talk to about this. It was just me and my own studies. The internet sucked back then. There's no fucking iPhones. I fucking studied people for years. No help. I threw all the numerology books away. They were all trash. And for someone to have the gall to say, demons taught me? And you see, I don't hear this shit from fucking Muslims. They might say, oh, you know what? Numerology ain't for me, but whatever. <coughs> A Christian, oh, don't mess with that that stuff. It's uh, it's attached to the demons. You dumb motherfuckers. Knowledge is attached to demons. Maybe if you fucking saw an airplane two hundred years ago, you'd think that was fucking Satan. So again, when I look at what's going on. And I see the differences between the two sects. Don't take this as an endorsement of Islam because I ain't getting all my fours and praying to anybody. I've had this conversation with many people. It's never happening. Okay. The prime creator don't demand worship. I don't know what the hell you guys are praying to. But when it comes down to Islam versus Christianity, or at least Christianity is current form in the West. Maybe this doesn't apply to Christianity of 100 years ago. But then again, I know the Ottomans caught me, I would say, six, four, three hundred years ago. They weren't burning me at the stake. They would just charge me a jizza. 
you know, believe in whatever the fuck you want, but you're paying a higher tax. Not not right, but whatever. If the Christians caught me two, three hundred years ago, they'd burn my ass at the stake. This is not me grandstanding. This is not me making up fucking bullshit to try to make you guys believe me. This is truth. All right? I'm sick of the superstition. I'm sick of the fucking bullshit. I'm sick of the Jew, 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 Jew. Like that fucking invalidates anything I fucking say. What do you think? Mossad taught me numerology? What do you people out your fucking mind? It's 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 shameful that these people don't believe in hard work. None of these people believe in hard work. All they believe in is oh someone help Gary. That's all you guys believe in. And in all honesty, it's fucking pathetic. So I said what I had to say. It is what it is. Entertained you guys for what? Good 15 minutes. See, that's the thing about if you want to do this. All right. You want to be an influencer. You want to be someone to listen to. You got to be able to talk nonstop, be interesting, and go from topic to topic and still fucking make sense. A lot of people don't have that ability, but they want to hate on me because that's the only way they can get clout. I get it. I get it. You, you, the only way you can get any attention is to throw at stones at people who matter. Well, you should be throwing store or stones at that fucking whore who's cheating on you. That's why you have no fucking shame. Some of you guys out there, downright pathetic. on me because that's the only way they can get clout. I get it. I get it. You, you, the only way you can get any attention is to throw at stones at people who matter. Well, you should be throwing store or stones at that fucking whore who's cheating on you. That's why you have no fucking shame. Some of you guys out there, downright pathetic. Anyways, this has been a GG33 production.